Welcome to Fucking Tech. So what are we doing this time on Fucking Tech? Well, we're going to compare uh, the ripple lighting effect on different keyboards that I have uh, in front of me right now. So uh, all these keyboards have uh, lighting effects. Uh, basically, they, they light up when you press the key the keycaps. So uh, I'm not going to test all the various lighting effects that the that these keyboards have because uh, there there's quite a few but i want to just kind of i want i just want to compare specifically the ripple effect and um it's going to be interesting because uh anyways i'll show you what the keyboards are and i'm going to tell you why it's interesting and uh and <laughs> and why i'm doing this so first keyboard top left we have uh red dragon or redragon k589 shrapnel which is full RGB lighting, which means each key has uh, different colors that can switch. Now, this is modified from its original version with the uh, custom key switches and keycaps. Uh, top right, we have the Team Wolf Zuki Plus K08 full size keyboard. This is stock version unmodified. Uh, this is a rainbow RGB, so it means uh, each key has a specific color and each row has a different color so it's not full rgb now this one is yeah uh, unmodified bottom right is the red dragon or redragon k577r or r or r i don't know which one pick one <laughs> whatever you want uh this is the cali k a l y uh, k a l i redragon cali this is also modified from its original version with the custom keycaps. We'll come back to that later. Uh, bottom left, we have the Ducky 1-2 uh, white lead full-size keyboard. Now, all of these keyboards, they have specific projects for them that I'm going to document in separate videos for each of them. So they're all going to have their own story and their own video and their own project. Now, let's compare the ripple lighting effect i'm gonna uh, tell you why i'm comparing this so let's go with the oldest first and then we'll go to the newest after so the oldest we have here is the timo zuki now left uh, left alt key nice ripple effect pretty cool each row has one specific color now let's go with the cali Woo! That's nice and smooth. Now the Kali is uh, probably 2018. Uh, I think this keyboard is from that year. So it's a little bit newer than the Zuki. So a little upgrade on the smoothness of the ripple effect. It's very nice. And uh, these, these, uh, the, the Kali is extremely bright. It's very bright. Now the next one is the uh, Shrapnel K589. Now it's very smooth. It's all colorful. Uh, the lighting is subdued because the uh, custom keycaps I have on, the, uh, on this, they, they cut out the light a little bit. So, but it's it's still very nice. It's very smooth. I like it very much. So this is like a 2019 keyboard. Now let's go with the uh, Ducky 1-2. Left Alt. Wow. Um, that's a little blocky. What do you think? That's a little disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> For a keyboard uh, that dates from 2019, a ducky, uh, I don't know. Uh, a lot of the effects are okay. They don't have a, uh, as many effects as other keyboards, like the Red Dragon. The, the Red Dragon, they have tons of effects. It's ridiculous. And they're all pretty good. But uh, specifically, the ripple effect on the ducky, that's uh, disappointing. I just thought that was uh, interesting considering the uh, the reputation in, of this brand, the Ducky brand. See, if you look at the Ducky, the quality of the Ripple is comparable to a thousand, 2016 board. <laughs> no! How is this possible? But anyways, this is a nitpick specifically for the Ripple effect. Um, that's it. So that's why I'm doing the comparison because uh, I just thought Ducky uh, could have done it better. All right. Stop it! Spend all the ones on this one! Fuck it up.
fucking tech.com.